Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. For the month of November, I am scrapbooking and designing for Scrapbook Your Joy. Um, I will leave all the links to um, Sandra's shop um, down below. She is a Canadian-based business, so if you're in Canada, check her out. If you're abroad, check her out. She ships internationally, so yeah, and she carries some really fun and current stuff. I Today I decided to work with the Hooray collection from Crate Paper, and I'm documenting a photo of my now five-year-old. Can you believe that? I can't believe I have a five-year-old. <laughs> Um, and so this was her birthday morning and she had asked me, you know, mom, can I, can I please have a big, huge cupcake for my birthday? And I was like, yeah, you can. <laughs> so that was like a mom win. She was happy and I managed to snap some really adorable pictures before she dug right in. <laughs> I'm sure her teachers were extremely happy this morning. <laughs> um, yeah. We all shared the cupcake, to be honest. So it was a big one. So we cut it in four, and uh, we all had a little piece of the cupcake, and she went to school, happy as a clam. And that is my goal as a mom, is to keep my kids happy. So I am using some white cardstock and the 6 by 8 paper pad um, to create my layout this day. And um, I really like the collection. I really like the colors in the collection. And I really like that it is a birthday slash, you know, party or celebration themed collection. Um, I just pop, popped up the photo on some dimensional um, sheet. Um, I have a big stash of it that I bought um, at Michael's like last year. And so I just keep the sheets on my desk in like a little container. And so I just pull from it every time I need it. Here you see that I'm going to do some mixed media and I'm using the Dilution Spray Ink for this and I'm just wiping it up with um, a Kleenex and I'm using the, I think it's the lemon color, I'm using the turquoise and I'm also using the cherry and um, I just realized that I put my dirty napkin or dirty <laughs> or inky Kleenex on the photo. Jeez. Sometimes you do things and you don't even realize that you do them. So those are the colors I picked. <clears throat> and I'm going to show you, and I left this in my process for a, real, for a reason. I decide that I don't like the way this looks already. And I decide that I'm not going to like the way it looks if I continue. So here I remove the photo from the um, background paper. I really was not happy. I just cut it out. And here I'm just trimming the extra. Um... And I'm going to start over. And the reason why I left it in my video is because it's part of my process. Sometimes I don't like what I create. And so I'll either start over or I will walk away from it and come back to it. And I know that in, I knew that in this case and in this instant that I was not going to like it. That ink dried way too dark. Um, I thought it would dry a little um, lighter but it didn't and I should have known better and but that's okay you know like I, I decided that I was just gonna start over so I'm just taking my chibi watercolors from Michaels I'm also using um, some watercolor mixed medium paper from Vicky Booten's Vicky Booten and American Crafts and I'm just gonna create the colors that I need um, for this layout very simple not overly complicated yeah I mucked up on the first one but who cares so I'm just adding some watercolor and I'm going to dab the extra away I don't want my layout to be too wet and my background to be too wet I did not gesso and so I like to keep it as dry as I can and um, yeah so I'm just creating a way and creating the right um, colors from the collection in my layout for my layout, for my background. And that's it, nothing overly complicated. I'm just taking my brush and just kind of, you know, dabbing where I think I need to dab and, you know, splattering. And that's it. And by the time I was ready to move on, this was pretty much dry. It was like about 70% dry because I had, I had soaked up the extra water anyway. So there wasn't much to, you know, left to dry.
So I just took my hot glue gun and I glued down um, my photo. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going through the ephemera. And so everything is going to work here. Um, if you're scrapbooking like a birthday and party themed, you know, um, picture, everything's going to work here. So I show you in another video that um, I scrapbooked um, a different picture, a different, you know, trio of pictures. Um, that were not birthday related with this collection and I think it turned out okay <laughs> I, I like the overall look of it and you know if you're creative enough then you can make any collection work with any photo that you need to document so I thought these hats were really stinking cute and I wanted to add one to my daughter's the top of my daughter's head um, so I originally stuck down that um, black and white one with the yellow pom-pom and then I came across this pink and green one and I was like, uh, uh this one is so much cooler. She needs to wear this one. So now I'm going through the ephemera and I'm just going to choose bits and pieces that I think will work with um, the overall look that I'm trying to achieve. Um, that make a wish cake was perfect because in the photo she's holding a giant cupcake and there's a giant number five on it with you know a candle so hi perfect <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me I'm still a little under the weather so okay so now I'm taking also pieces from the um, 12 by 12 chipboard sheet like hooray for cake and I grabbed some of the little um, sequin you know they're I don't even know what they are they're just like embellishments and they've got like a piece of sequin um, stuck to the center of them they're really cute and these are the thickers that come with the collect they don't come with the collection but they're designed for the collection and they're called surprise and they are a holographic foam these are the coolest thickers ever. I want to stick them everywhere. <laughs> They're really, really cool. So also I'm taking some metallic silver thread and I'm just going to create a couple of messy bundles and stick them behind my photo. I'm also going to, well I did, I created a little nest and I stuck that chipboard yay in the center of it. So I really like the silver with this collection because of the holographic um, elements to the collection. How many times can I say collections? But if I would have used a different color thread, like the, I was thinking of gold originally, um, decided to go with the silver and I'm glad I did because I like the overall look and the contrast between all of it. There's a lot of holographic and like very silvery and glittery kind of, you know, elements to this collection and I loved every single piece. And here are the 6x12 stickers. I'm just going to take some of them and dress my layout. Like that bunting border was is amazing. I love it so much. And it says, Happy B-Day. And that eat cake, I really wanted to use it. It covers up a bit of the yay, yay, yay. But whatever, it's fine. I really like it. I really like the overall look and I'm going to nestle it on some of the um, bunched up silver thread. Some just peeks, peeks out behind the piece of ephemera. The metallic star, no not metallic, the holographic stars are one of my fave too. I wish there was just like a little baggie of holographic stars the glittery ones and just the regular paper ones that would be amazing I would be forever happy if they <laughs> if crepe paper just came out with like a bunch of metallic stars I'm using some Tim Holtz uh, distress stain in the brushed pewter and that's it that's my layout I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope you guys enjoyed my process thank you guys so much for watching I will leave Sandra's um Links in the description box below. Please check her out. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye